hello students uh, here we are with the second part of pronouns okay and uh, we'll straight away go to the next type of pronoun the next type of pronoun is possessive pronouns okay uh, we try to understand possessive nouns possessive nouns was where a noun shows possession that belongs something belongs to the noun in that way here pronouns are there which are showing possession but like uh, we discussed in the previous part uh, along with demonstrative pronoun we studied demonstrative adjective along with interrogative pronoun we studied interrogative adjective here also along with possessive pronouns we will also be studying possessive adjectives also okay it is uh, very simple to understand very easy to understand uh, the thing is here also we have a table and in the first column of the table we have all the persons in the previous part while explaining personal pronouns i had explained all the persons the same persons are here also it will help us to understand the possessive adjective and possessive pronouns in a better way okay now if you look at uh, the chart possessive uh, it, sorry the persons the first person is first uh, the first is first person singular the possessive adjective for uh, possessive pronoun for first person singular is mine okay and the possessive adjective for first person singular is my okay then uh, the first uh, possessive pronoun for first person plural is ours and uh, the possessive adjective for first person plural is are uh, possessive uh, pronoun for second person is yours and possessive adjective for second person is your okay and uh, possessive pronoun for third person singular masculine gender is his and uh, possessive adjective for third person singular masculine gender is also his now how will we identify if the uh, which his is a possessive pronoun and which one is a possessive adjective if after his after his right after his there is a noun then it is a possessive adjective and if after his there is no noun then it is a possessive pronoun the same method in which we understood a demonstrative adjective pronoun and interrogative adjective and pronoun same process same method okay and next one is third person uh, singular feminine gender possessive pronoun is hers and possessive adjective is her third person singular uh, neuter gender possessive adjective possessive pronoun is its and uh, possessive adjective is also its same way how we bifurcate his the same way if there is a noun right after its it is a possessive adjective and if there is no noun right after its then it is a possessive pronoun and next one third person plural third person plural possessive pronoun is theirs and possessive adjective is there okay students this also same as i told about personal pronouns this table also we will have to by heart there is no other option we have to by heart it i am sending the photo of this table also along with the video okay and i want you to by heart this table as soon as possible very very quickly we will soon have a oral test of this also okay so this is the possessive pronoun and along with the possessive pronoun we have studied possessive adjective also so students along with pronoun part we have studied three types of adjectives and these three types of adjectives are there in the chapter of adjective so we have done this earlier itself it's a good uh, it is good for us we'll understand try to understand it at that time also but i hope you have understood it right here only okay now let us go to the next type of pronoun that is reflexive and emphatic pronoun let me try to explain you students any pro, uh, the pronoun which is followed by self or selves okay a pronoun that is uh, followed by self or selves just say for example first person singular ke liye it is myself okay and uh, first person plural ke liye ourselves second person ke liye yourself for singular and yourselves for plural third person singular ke liye himself herself itself masculine feminine neuter respectively and third person plural ke liye themselves okay so these are the words the pronouns of with self or selves are the same same pronouns are used as reflexive also and those same self pronouns are used as emphatic also difference kya hai the way they are used reflexive mein alag tarike se ye self wala pronouns use hota hai and in emphatic they are used in a another way okay let me try to explain you how if the self pronouns 
are used as a object they are the receiver of the action we discussed about object in this chapter only in the first video when we were discussing about uh, subjective case that is nominative case and objective case pronoun used as a subject pronoun used as an object pronoun used as the doer of the action and pronoun used as the receiver of the action on whom the action is being done same thing if these self pronouns are used as the object self pronouns used as the object the action is done on this self pronouns then they are called reflexive pronouns they are reflexive pronouns okay i repeat once again if the self pronouns are used in such a way that they are the objects the action of the uh, the action of the verb is done on these self pronouns then they are the object uh, sorry they are the object and that is why they are called the reflexive pronouns okay let us look at some example of reflexive pronouns uh, i hurt myself while playing tennis okay subject is i verb is hurt i hurt whom myself so the action of hurt is done on myself i have hurt myself the action of done hurting is done on myself itself i am the receiver of the action myself is hurt okay so here the myself the self pronoun that is myself is a reflexive pronoun let us look at one more example can you please serve yourself the subject is you action is serving serving food or serving anything okay maybe drinks or cold drinks or food whatever it is okay so serving you is the uh, doer of the action serving you can you do the action of serving to yourself okay so here the action of serving is also done to yourself the pronoun with self okay so here also yourself is the receiver of the action the action is done on yourself okay so here also yourself is the object and that is why it is a reflexive pronoun okay students so once again i am repeating if the self pronoun is the receiver of the action if it is the object of the sentence then it is the reflexive pronoun now let us try to understand emphatic pronoun emphatic pronoun means if these self pronouns they try to tell that the subject only is the doer of the action they try to emphasize or they try to give importance to the matter that the subject only is the doer of the action then it is called emphatic pronoun it is called emphatic pronoun okay that is the subject is doing the action this self pronoun tells ki bhai subject only is the doer of the action wo hi hai aur koi nahi yahi subject hi doer of the action hai then it is called emphatic pronoun it is emphasizing it is giving more importance that the subject only is the doer of the action that is why it is called emphatic pronoun let us look at the examples example 3 the principal himself checked the answer sheet who checked the principal but himself hum kya bolta hai the principal himself checked the answer sheet matlab that himself is telling ki bhai answer sheet principal ne hi check kiya hai the principal himself has checked the answer sheet here it is a emphatic pronoun because it is emphasizing giving more importance that the action was done by the subject itself then example 4 we ourselves cleaned the rooms ठीक है, वी क्लीन द रूम वी आवर सेल्स क्लीन द रूम हमने खुद ही रूम क्लीन किया है सो हियर आवर सेल्स इज एम्फोसाइजिंग इट इज गिविंग मोर इंपॉर्टेंस टू द फैक्ट टू द मैटर दैट वी ओनली हैव क्लीन द रूम सो इट इज हियर हियर आवर सेल्स इज एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउंस okay students this is the meaning of reflexive and emphatic pronoun so here we come to the end of types of pronoun but we need to understand one last thing that is the noun pronoun agreement the noun pronoun agreement is dekhi we studied in the beginning of the chapter that pronoun is word a word that is used in place of a noun ek noun hai for example uh, kapil there is a boy called kapil kapil ke bare mein hum bol rahe hain to kapil uh, is so and so kapil comes so and so then we will start using pronouns in place of kapil related to kapil he him his is it so these are the pronouns that will be used in place of kapil but all these pronouns are related to kapil okay so that pronouns whatever pronouns are used should be in agreement with the noun all the pronouns that is used should be in agreement with noun for example if we are talking about kapil theek hai so kapil is third person singular 
उसके हिसाब से थर्ड एंड बॉय तो प्रोनाउन आल्सो शुड बी थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर मैस्कुलाइन जेंडर ही इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नंदिनी नंदिनी इज थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर अ गर्ल ओके तो प्रोनाउंस यूज्ड आल्सो शुड बी इन एग्रीमेंट विद दैट दैट इज प्रोनाउंस शुड बी आल्सो थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर एंड दैट टू फॉर अ फेमिनाइन जेंडर दैट इज शी हर हर्स ओके थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो द मेन पार्ट इज द मेन आइडिया इज द प्रोनाउन एंड द नाउन to which it is related should be in agreement with each other that is called a noun verb agreement if the noun is singular the pronoun also has to be singular if the noun is plural the pronoun also has to be plural if the noun is masculine gender the pronoun also has to be masculine gender if the noun is feminine gender the pronoun has to be feminine gender if the noun is neuter gender the pronoun also has to be neuter gender in the same way okay so in every way the pronoun has to be in agreement should be in it should be in agreement with the noun this is the idea behind this part okay students i hope you have understood i will be sending uh, along with this to for this chapter i am sending two videos this is the second video there is one more video the first part of this chapter i am also sending a video where i am explaining how to solve the exercises of this chapter and i am sending two photos one photo is for all the list the table of personal pronouns you have to learn from that photo and one photo i am sending of possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives you have to learn that is on the basis of persons that also you have to learn by heart okay students so uh, please stay safe at home and thank you so much for uh, all your cooperation thank you so much